Hello, welcome to One on One. I'm your host, Greg Walker. You know, we say that the show's motto is that anyone I know, meet, or talk with is a potential guest. Well, today we have a pretty special show for you, I feel like. You know, I say on our sports talk show each Monday and Thursday night to expect the unexpected. Well, I think the same could be true today. You've heard of the Dirty Dozen? Well, I've got the awesome six for you today. These young men visiting with us on the show are seven or eight years old. They're all boy, and a few of them are chips off the old block, to be quite honest. Our guests in alphabetical order today include Craig Amobley, Cal Burchett, Chris Cummings, Ryan Fisher, Cody Hagee, and Cleet Walker. I'll chat with these six young men, they're buddies of mine, on our show today, right after this timeout. It's the Happy New Year sales event at Matthews Nissan, Clarksville's favorite new car dealer. Save big on 400 new. 2017s are arriving daily. 10,777 off a new Altima. 7,500 off a new Rogue. Five grand off a new Frontier. 12,000 off a new Titan. You're gonna love our prices. I'm Gary Matthews, and that's my guarantee. You're gonna love our prices. The Leaf Chronicle is now available on every device you carry. Or don't carry. All things Clarksville, in all media, 24-7. Subscribe now for full access. For a hundred years, Neil Tarpley Parchman Funeral Home has honored legacies. We believe every family deserves a special time of celebrating a life well lived. Neil Tarpley Parchman, people who care, a name you can trust. Welcome to our show today, six of my best buddies uh, joining us on this edition of One on One, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope so. We're going to find out. Take a look at this motley crew today. This is the lineup. There's the six of them right there. From left to right, as you face your television dial, we have Cal Burchett, Chris Cummings, Cleet Walker, Cody Haig, Craig Amobley, and Ryan Fisher. Gentlemen, how are y'all today? Good. Good. Who wants to go first? Who would like to take them? Cal, you want to go first? All right. Tell us, what's your name? Cal Burchett. How old are you, Cal? Seven. What grade are you going to be in in school this fall? Second. Second grade. Where do you go to school? Clarksville Academy. Go to the Clarksville Academy. You're a cougar, huh? Who are your parents? What are their names? Eddie and Teresa. Eddie and Teresa Burchett. Well, you're looking sharp today. We're sure glad to have you here. Just pass that thing to Mr. Chris Cummings there. And Chris, how old are you? I'm eight years old. Eight years old. Going on 24? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, what grade are you going to be in in school? Second grade. Second grade. And you go to? St. Bethlehem. St. Bethlehem. Good school? Enjoy it over there. Who are your parents? Mary Lou Cummings and David Cummings. Mary Lou and David Cummings. And good folks, aren't they? All right, let's pass it to Mr. Cleet there. Son, uh, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. Uh, what grade are you going to be in in school? Second. Second grade. Where you go? St. Bethlehem Elementary. St. Bethlehem Elementary. You like school out there? Pretty much. <laughs> Who are your parents? Greg and Pat Walker. Greg and Pat Walker. <laughs> of course, Cleet is my boy. He's the picture you see here on the set every uh, week here on One on One. Now I guess we'll go to, since he's got the microphone in his hand, we'll go from right to left with this threesome here. Ryan, how are you today, son? Good. I'm glad to hear that. How old are you, Ryan? Eight years old. Eight years old. Where do you go to school? 
Barksdale Elementary. You like it out there? Yeah. Who are your parents? Mick, Mary and Mickey Fisher. Mary and Mickey Fisher. Good to have you on the show today, Rhino. Thank you. Just pass that to the left, and who do we have here? Craig. <laughs> Craig who? A Mobley. Craig a Mobley, my old buddy. Put that microphone up to your mouth just a little bit there, Craig. Got a boy. How old are you? Six, seven. Seven, that's right. And uh, where do you go to school? St. B. Elementary. St. B. Elementary. What grade are you going to be in this Second. next? Second. Second grade. You like it out there? Yeah. And who are your parents? Ellen and Michael Mobley. Ellen and Michael Mobley. And who do we have right in here with the Clarksville National cap on? Cody Heggie. Cody Heggie. I'm sure glad you don't look like your daddy. You know that. <laughs> Cody, how old are you? Eight years old. Eight years old. What grade are you going to be in? Third. Third grade. Where you go to school? Barksdale Elementary. Like it out there? Yeah. Good. And who are your parents? Connie and Horace Heggie. Connie and Horace Heggie. Uh, just hold that mic there a minute, Cody. Let's go to another line of questioning. I think we found out all the basic information about each and every one of you. Uh, what's your favorite subject in school, Cody? Oh, math. Clay, what's your favorite subject in school? Recess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seriously, what is your favorite subject? Language. Is it? You just didn't want to say the same thing as Cody, did you? That's what the bottom I told you. Y'all say what's actually the truth, though. Uh, Cody, uh, do you have nice teachers? Yes. They're pretty good. Who was your teacher this year? Miss Parsons. Miss who? Parsons. Who was your teacher this year, Clay? Laura Hopper. Did you, you enjoy having her? Pretty much. Pass the mics. Uh, Craig, what's your favorite subject? Uh, we said. <laughs> How about you, Cal? Um, you have a favorite subject in school? Math. Math. How about you, uh, Christopher? What do you like in school? Spelling. Spelling's your favorite subject. That's a good subject. Ryan, what about you? Craig, you're going to have to hand him the mic. Oh. Ryan. Oh. P.E.? Because my mom works in there. <laughs> That's right. You get to see her when you go to P.E., don't you? Yep. you got a nice mom. She does a great job in there. I know. You have nice teachers? Yes, sir. I'm sure you do. Ryan, what's your favorite sport? Uh, I like all kinds of sports, like soccer, baseball, uh, golf. Like them all. By the way, speaking of golf, you're going to have a real treat, a nice experience this summer, aren't you? Yes, sir. Didn't you qualify to go to Doral in Miami? Yep, And sir. that was in what, the... Eight and nine year old division. Eight, nine, and ten. Eight, nine, and ten year old division. You played well. And what's what is that tournament, Ryan? Uh. Is it the insurers or is it uh, another one? But regardless, you qualified in state competition. You get to go to Doral for the national competition this month, I believe, isn't it? Yes, sir. Hey, we want to. We congratulate you and wish you a lot of luck. That's going to be a fun trip. Is mom and dad going to get to go with you? Yes, sir. Well, I hope you do great down there, son. Uh, Craig, what, what position do you play, Ryan? Wait just a second for you. In what? In baseball. Uh, I just play where he puts me. <laughs> well, where does he put you usually? Uh, Coach Eggy puts me at pitcher and shortstop. Pitcher and shortstop. Now, you know, you're one of the two guys, you and Cody there, the reason for this show today, y'all captured me out there at the Clarksville National League and said you want it on one on one and on and on and on, and that's one of the reasons you're here today. Pass the mic. Let's see what else we got there. Craig, what's your favorite sport? Basketball. You like that basketball, don't you? What position are you play in basketball? Um, Guard. Yeah. I think you were a point guard this year. What about baseball? What position you play? Um, center field. Left center field. Yeah. We play with four outfielders in the peewees, don't we? Yeah. Uh, Cody, what's your favorite sport? Um, soccer. Soccer? What position you play in soccer? Um, 
mostly halfback and the forwards. What position are you playing baseball? Uh, now move first, that mic down a little where we can see your face. There you first go. and third. First and third. You like baseball pretty good too, don't you? Yeah. I thought you might tell me your favorite sport was wrestling. I thought you and Rhino were the wrestling enthusiasts. Don't y'all go to Nashville to watch them wrestle every now and then? Yeah. What about you, Cal? What's your favorite sport? Basketball. It is. What, what position do you play? Um, you look like a guard also. Look like a, a guard. guard. Huh? A guard. A guard? What's your favorite sport, Chris? Baseball. What's your positions? Pitcher and shortstop. Of course, uh, you on the All-Stars out at St. Bethlehem this year. Y'all been practicing, hadn't you? Yes, sir. Looking forward to the tournament? Yes, sir. Want to wish you a lot of luck in that tournament. Clay, what's your favorite sport? Baseball. What position do you play, son? They moved me from right field to right center. Right center field. And you played on the, who'd you play for this year? Dodgers. Pee Wees, right? Pee Wee Dodgers. Uh, who's taught you the most about your favorite sport, Clay, about baseball? Mostly you. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> what about it, you, Cody? Who's taught you the most? Uh, mostly my parents. Your parents. Craig, who's taught you the most about Eddie. baseball? Well, you got to get the mic before you can talk. Eddie. Hey, Coach Burchett. What about you, Ryan? Who's taught you the most? Uh, my grandfather and my dad. Your grandfather and your dad. You put your dad in there this time. I asked you that question at the ballpark. Coach Fisher, of course. Uh, well, both Coach Fishers. Uh, George Fisher, Sr. and and uh, Mickey Fisher, uh, Ryan's dad and grandfather. Cal, who taught you the most about baseball? Or in basketball, too, for that matter. My dad and my granddad. And who is your granddad? Coach Ewan Burchett, right? Retired principal out at Richview and used to coach for a long time. Chris, who's taught you the most besides Mary Lou? Well, my dad's the one that <laughs> taught me the most, but my mom's the one that gets in the backyard and throws with me ah, yeah, every day. It. And she works with you, doesn't she? Yes, sir. She works with you a lot. Uh, what do you enjoy doing more than anything else? Uh, what do you have the most fun doing, Chris? Sometimes staying out in the neighborhood and playing with my friends and stuff. Playing with your friends, just messing around. That's the most fun. How about you, Ryan? Uh, you can do, you do anything play, you want to do. Playing all kinds of sports. You're a sports nut. Yes. Got to have a ball or something in it for you to be satisfied, right? Yes, how sir. About, how about you, Craig? What's the most fun thing that you can do? Playing with my friend Clayton Building. And building? You like to be a working man, uh -huh, don't you, Craig? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Y'all build something all the time, don't you? Uh -huh. what, what's the, what did you build lately? Hold the mic up. Uh, baseball field. When did you build a baseball field? When Coit was down yesterday. You did? What about you, Cody? What do you like to do? Uh, mostly play sports. Clay, well, how about you? What's your favorite thing to do? Well, what Craig said, really, I like doing that, too. Playing with your friends, playing with Craig, messing around? Yeah, because I'm an only child. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> You're an only child. You like to have buddies to play with? I got you. It always helps, doesn't it? How about you, Cal? What do you enjoy doing? Um, playing baseball out in the backyard. Well, you got a good place there, don't you? No doubt about it. Well, these are my buddies today, and these are my friends on one-on-one. -on -one. Cal Burchett, Chris Cummings, Cleet Walker, Cody Hagee, Craig Amobley, and Ryan Fisher. Maybe we'll get a little more out of them on segment two. We'll find out right after this.
The Leaf Chronicle is now available on every device you carry. Or don't carry. All things Clarksville, in all media, 24-7. Subscribe now for full access. One-on-one's the show, sixth guest in the studio today, not our customary set as we've got six of my young buddies visiting with us on the show today. Cal, uh, do you have a favorite place that you enjoy traveling or going? Um, the mountains. You like those mountains? Have fun up there. A lot to do, isn't it? This year we went to the mountains and um, we did the sky ride. Boy, that's fun, isn't it? How my about you? Go ahead. My sister said, um, this is ridiculous, and I said, this is fun. <laughs> Boy, Mary Beth, is, a t is that who you talk about? She's a good athlete, isn't she? she yes, sir. A very good athlete. Chris, what about you? Uh, do you have a favorite place to travel? I like traveling to, to Florida and Panama and stuff like that, places like that. I got you. I enjoy it myself. Don't get to do it enough, do we? Yes, what about sir. you, Clay? You like to travel? Pretty much. I'd like to go to Chattanooga or Louisville you once do. this year. Yeah, and where did you, where'd your mother or grandmother rather go? Probably Knoxville. No, uh, where else? What really? about Nanny? Where'd she rather go? Panama City. <laughs> That's right. She'd rather go to Florida, hadn't she? She had her wife. How about you, Ryan? Where do you like to travel? To the beach. Fun, isn't it? You just yes, got sir. back from the beach, didn't you? Yes, sir. Not too long ago. Did y'all have a good time? Yes, sir. See all your cousins and friends down there? Yes, sir. Where do you like to go, Craig? I uh, to Florida so I can get in the beach and play. Especially Florida because you know, where my Aunt Kathy lives. It is. Uh -huh. I heard something. Did you catch a shark while you were down there? No, but I saw <laughs> dolphins. You did? They, they were all right, weren't they? Cody, how are you doing? What do you, where do you like to go? Uh, Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's fun. Have you been there lately? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we went on spring break. You did? I took Ryan with me. Oh, boy. You were lucky, Ryan. That was fun, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Cody, what do you enjoy watching on TV? Uh, sports. And wrestling. And who's your favorite wrestler? Diesel. Diesel? You know, he used to play basketball at the University of Tennessee. Who's your least favorite wrestler? Uh, you know who your dad's least favorite used to be? Who? Saul Weingroff and the Germans. <laughs> Cal, what's your, what do you like watching on TV or what movies? <coughs> Have any? Wrestling. Are you a wrestling fan, Cal? Are you, who do you like? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's your man. It's, boy, they've got y'all on this wrestling. What about you, Chris? What do you like to watch on TV? What movies? I like to watch baseball and, um, and soccer and other sports like that. You do. You go to the movies in? Yep, I want to see Batman Forever. How'd you like it? I liked it. It was real good. What about you, Clay? What do you like watching on TV or movies? Well, I like The Lion King, The Little Rascals, and mostly Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump was good, wasn't it? You also like Miss Doubtfire there for a while. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Miss <laughs> Doubtfire's funny. <laughs> that was a funny movie, wasn't it? Uh, besides, Clay, your parents. Who are some of the people that you <coughs> respect, admire, or look up to, or love the most? Mm, mostly all of my family. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. How about you, Cody? Um, <coughs> my, all of my grandparents and stuff. Right. How about you, Craig? -o? Everybody in my family. Everybody in your family. <coughs> 
Uh, my mom, my dad, my grandfather, and my grandmother. How about you, Chris? All family, I admire all of right. my family. Your, boy, your grandmother comes to watch you play ball religiously, doesn't she? Yes, sir. She's regular. How about you, Cal? My whole family. Your whole family? Cal, uh, what's the funniest thing? Have you, is there something that you've seen that's funnier that you think of that's the funniest thing you've ever seen? The Goofy Movie. <laughs> the Goofy Movie? I guess that is pretty funny. He's pretty goofy, isn't he? Real how, goofy. How about you, Chris? What makes you laugh, or what do you think's funny? I'm not sure. Uh... You want me to tell you what would be funny if I were in your place? Yes, sir. Just living with your dad, it'd have to be funny, wouldn't it, son? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Ryan? You got something? Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Did you watch that? <laughs> and you liked it? <laughs> Have you seen The Mask? That's it. You do. Uh, what about you, Craig? What's funny to you? Uh, Dumb and Dumber. I think it's really funny. It was really funny. Anybody else can anybody else contribute to that? Let me ask you this: If you could be any animal for a day or a week, what animal would you be? Right? A monkey. <laughs> yeah, he would. Wish Ryan was a monkey. What animal would you be, Craig? I would like to be a shark. A shark? Why? I just like them too much. You do. What about you, Cody? Uh, a monkey. You look like a little monkey. <laughs> what about you, Clay? Who, what, what animal would you be? A garden. A snake. A snake? Why? Because I want to be. You would. What about you, Chris? I want to be a cheetah. <laughs> what about you, Cal? White shark. A white shark. Boy, that's some strange things to want to be, boys. Three monkeys, two sharks, and a snake. Merciful heavens. One-on-one, -on -one, we'll be back with a stretch run right after this. It's the Happy New Year sales event at Matthews Nissan. Clarksville's favorite new car dealer. Save big on 400 new. 2017s are arriving daily. 10,777 off a new Altima. 7,500 off a new Rogue. Five grand off a new Frontier. 12,000 off a new Titan. You're going to love our prices. I'm Gary Matthews, and that's my guarantee. You're going to love our prices. For a hundred years, Neil Tarpley Parchman Funeral Home has celebrated legacies with services as unique as each life. Neil Tarpley Parchman, people who care, a name you can trust. Stretch run, we only have about three and a half minutes left with my friends today. Uh, favorite food, Cal. What do you like to eat? And what what places do you like to go eat? Um, Pizza Hut and. How about you, Ryan? McDonald's, cause they have playgrounds. <laughs> How about you, Chris? Pizza. I like pizza a lot. You do. You have a favorite pizza place? Uh, does it matter? Um, I like Michael's and Papa John's and stuff like places like that. Right. Where do you like to eat, Craig? Burger King and McDonald's because they have great cheeseburgers. <laughs> How about you, Clay? I like old Charlie's and the Olive Garden and 
<laughs> yeah, I've got you. Uh, your mama does, too. How about you, Cody? Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I like their wings, too, Cody. I mean, you know, hey, I can't... <laughs> you know... <laughs> uh, what do you want to be when you grow up, Cody? Um... Uh... A movie, a sports player and a movie star. A movie star? Well, you're a star now. <laughs> I don't think it's any question. Clay, what do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. What kind of teacher? School teacher? School teacher. You do? How about you, Craig? What do you want to be? A working man. A working man. What about you, oh, Craig? I get hot. You do? It's sweaty and dirty. What about you, Chris? I want to be, I want to take over my dad's work, my dad's insurance place. And I imagine that uh, he has that in mind also, Chris. Matter of fact, one of these days, Bill Hoy will be calling you boss. <laughs> <That's what you're laughs> Ryan, what do you want to be? A doctor. Uh, hey, that's good. That's great. What do you want to be, Cal? Um, he grabbed that a mic. A contractor he, with my dad. A contractor with your dad. That's a good thing to be. We just got a minute here. Uh, favorite player, favorite sport, favorite team, Ryan. Uh, Greg Norman, um, um, Davis Love the third, and Fred Couples. That's your favorites. Cal, you got the mic. Who you like? Babe Ruth and. <laughs> Pass the mic. Craig, who do you like? Uh, Michael Jordan and O'Neal. Who do you like, Chris? I like King Gabriel Jr. and Frank Thomas. You do. Who do you like, Cody? Um, Mickey Mantle. Who do you like, Clayton? Michael Jordan. All right, fellas, I want you to know we've enjoyed having you on today. We didn't get to talk about everything, but I think you did a great job. Any final comments? Well, we got less than, uh, we got less than 20 seconds. You want to say bye to everybody? Bye. Tell them all bye. Thanks for coming, y'all. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to One on One each week. Tell your friends, neighbors, and loved ones about the show. For our guests, for the entire One on One team, until next week, have a very nice rest of the day, folks. Great job, guys. Whatever you want.